Well, here we are with video number two for Mabry, Mabry, excuse me, Mabry Mill. I'm really happy with my colors. I'm mixing up, well, what I should say, I'm very happy with the results so far and the colors. My thought process at this point is to make the foreground fuzzy and focus on the mill. So I am layering and working on the mill. There's, there are quite a few layers here. I'm going to go ahead and just give the rooftop a very pale blue. I'm working with the Princeton brush. It's an Aqua Elite and it's a number eight. I have a feeling I'm gonna need the four. So let me just switch out and grab the four. And that's better. I like these brushes simply because they do hold a nice point. So, so far, so good. I'm going over the Crimson Lake, which is already there. And giving a little more value. Okay. These are the fine details. We love them, don't we? I like how that cobalt blue is going over top of the crimson lake.
I'm enjoying the negative painting on the water wheel. <clears throat> and I'm conscientious of the shapes, so I don't want all these shapes to be alike. So with each layer, as I darken, I am trying to be aware of that. So you can see with each layer, it really does get darker and more wonderful to look at because this area right here where I'm working, it's, it's white. It's the white of the paper. And yet, you know, so you can see there's not a lot of color on my brush, but as I go over what's already there, you can really see it. So there's a lot going on up here and I'm just gonna have to take my time and figure it out. So the building's doing something funny here and I need to take some time to figure that out. So I don't wanna uh, do that right now. I'm still working with the water wheel. And I need to draw in all the slats where the water's running through. So again, I'm gonna come back to that. I'm gonna lift a little of this blue right here. There, that's what I wanted. And right here. Blue is very forgiving. This is cobalt blue. softening this area. Okay, so let's go back to the cobalt blue. I'm still working with the number four. And I'm going to start to add the blue to the grounds. Some of this I got done.
sorry, I need to get the green in. So I'm gonna do that right about now. Okay, so let's get the green in. And we wanna stay pale, but the green is climbing up. The reason I stay pale right now is I'm still figuring it out. We can go ahead and put this in. We'll come back with a little bit of blue. And where that green overlaps with the orange, it changes color. And I love that. That's called glazing. Here we are, we're down into the water. Everything just <laughs> morphs into each other. And I love that too. These are the reflections in the water. So let's just go ahead and drag this around the, the flower. We're glazing the green over top of the orange. And we're now into the water. And we're able to pull some of those areas through. And we just keep morphing into other areas. <laughs> the softness of the pale la layers is just, 
I, I so enjoy it. We will come back with some blue. I'm very pleased with that. And we can continue on with the green. And you can see that this just simply takes time and study. And we're working the negative places. And we're gonna go up there and touch the horizon line in a couple places. This is what we mean by connecting shapes and colors. I'm cleaning up those couple of edges that just went a little too far hoping that the blue right here is just as forgiving as it's been in other parts, but. Okay, there's a fence up there, but boy, do I like that. So with the green, we can go ahead and and continue on with the shaping of the... All right, we'll come back to that. So um, let's go ahead and see if... This is my Prussian. I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and get in these lines. Cobalt blue would work for this too. Just saying. Now while this is wet, I'm gonna go and get a little of this. This was um, a combination of rose matter and yellow ochre and I'm just dropping that in there while it's wet. I want to make sure I have the angle right. There we go. Again, going up into the tree line so that my subject is connected to the background.
and I'm happy with that. We're going to do some tree work over here, but not now. I love the way those branches uh, just moving along, going with the negative space, but I think I want to draw them in with my pencil. Okay, and over here as well, this is the mixture of rose matter. Alizarin crimson is a good substitute. I've mixed this with a little bit of yellow ochre. And I'm going to do the same thing. and give weight to the shingles. And I'm gonna come back before it dries and just put in a little bit of blue. Particularly over here. Okay, so We're, we're um, working with the imperfect lines of the shingles and the shadows.
There, that's better. So we, we have a very multicolored mill. Lots of beautiful colors to give. Flare to the mill. And yet it reads very neutral. Sketching with the brush, I'm really enjoying myself. And we're gonna go ahead and bring this to a close. But let's review what we've done. What we've done is we've, we've slowed down a bit. Okay, just shoring up the top of the barn before everything dries and I can step back and take a look at it. Okay, so here's what we've done. We've come back in and we're really starting to solidify the barn. Now the barn goes way back, not the barn, excuse me, the mill, the mill goes way back. So I can't, I need to add more depth under here because it does continue. So I think just putting, when I come back in and I know everything's dry, a little bit of that rose matter and yellow ochre, We'll just darken, maybe I can do it right now. And give depth to the milk going back into the trees. It continues. The other thing um, we did is We started working the blue and we went over here into the landscape. So more work on that and we'll start pulling down into the water. Um, we're connecting the mill to the background. So we talked about that a little bit. And we've also decided, at least for now, that the foreground will be fuzzy so that we can focus on the mill. That's all for part two today.